Hey guys, this style of enclosed veranda with sliding doors has been popular in Japanese architecture for hundreds of years and along with that these big stones are quite often a part of it and are used as a transition between the veranda and the garden and of course we don't usually see outside doormats in Japan, it doesn't sort of fit so usually the stones are there and of course that's not the main entrance to the house as we showed you before the main entrance to the building or house or the building is usually through a genkan so you open a door you go into the genkan you take off your shoes and step up on the wood so that's usually the main entrance to the house and these verandas is usually not the main entrance but it is an area they sometimes use people sometimes use to, to come in and out or sometimes just a nice place to sit where people sometimes sit on the veranda there with their feet on the big stone. So obviously the big stone is sort of seen as clean. Usually it wouldn't usually sit there barefooted, but it might be a nice place to sit with a pair of slippers or something like that with the feet on the big stone and sit there. And there's beer commercials on Japanese TV showing people doing that. That's actually a common beer commercial in the middle of summer and people sitting on the veranda with their feet on the big stone drinking beer. So quite common. And then there's a whole variation of how this is done and the styles. So, for example, in a sort of a simple house, it might just be a big basic rock like that one. But in a more expensive house, you might find it's a big spectacular one. We went to a house one time. Actually, we showed you the village in the mountains with the snow. We showed you once before. And there was a house there that used to belong to the, like the, the leader of the city, like the city mayor. And outside his house had a massive stone. There was a work of art in itself, a, a huge, big, heavy, beautiful stone it was. There was a work of art because you can imagine there's a, f there's a little bit of uh, prestige associated with it and, and art, of course. Big stones are quite popular in Japanese gardens as an art form in themselves. So you can see, here's the front of the house. The Genkan's there to the right, so that's the main entrance, but here... In quite a predominant spot is this huge stone so it definitely is a, a feature of the garden as you can see quite a big feature there and quite a beautiful thing here's a more simple one so very much like a stone doormat but also sort of just like a place to sit that one there is more practical. The people come and go there, put their washing out and things like that via the, st the stone. So here's just some examples, some still still photos. Your, your picture hasn't frozen. These are stills. Just giving you some good examples. And those of you who have, have been to Japan or seen lots of pictures of Japanese gardens will know that the stones feature quite predominantly in Japanese gardens, both small small stones and big stones. So having one big stone is a tradition. There's a great picture. Look at that. There's the sitting on the veranda with your feet on the big stone. Another classic example, isn't that amazing historical picture? Sitting there with the on the veranda, some people with the feet on the stone. And this is a model of the Totoro house. We're talking about Totoro recently and you can see the same thing there. There's actually a scene in Totoro where the people were sitting with their feet on the stone eating eating some food so it's a very sort of interesting part of Japanese culture in some cultures maybe sitting out on a on a veranda on a chair might be a, a sort of a popular thing to do whereas here this is sort of the Japanese equivalent just sitting on the wooden veranda with your feet on the big stone outside that's actually a business it's got one at the main entrance quite a big stone there So again, modern houses too, we're showing you newer buildings here, and it's in a traditional style newer house, so if the house is a newer house or a newer building and it's built in a traditional style, they stay, often will continue with this tradition of having the big stone. Something, something it's simple, but there's something beautiful about it, isn't there? something extremely heavy about it you can just imagine what these things would weigh they must be incredible incredibly heavy here's a beautiful garden now look at the stones in this one you've got the big stones there for decoration beautiful and then at the back that one at the back you can see there that's actually the stone the stepping stepping up onto the veranda stone there so 
you can see it's part of the transition with the garden between the garden and the house that's a beautiful place that one that's a new building that one new house but it's been done in the traditional way isn't that beautiful anyway hopefully somebody's found that interesting more videos coming soon